While the term deadliest warrior is subjective and difficult to quantify, here are world's top 10 deadliest warriors of history who are often regarded as among the deadliest based on their historical reputation, battlefield prowess, and impact on human history. Warriors have played a significant role in shaping the course of human history, whether through conquests, battles, or other feats of military prowess. Genghis Khan was the founder and first emperor of the Mongol Empire, which at its peak covered much of Asia and Eastern Europe. He is believed to have caused the deaths of millions of people through his conquests and wars. Genghis Khan's military campaigns were marked by brutality and ruthlessness, with entire populations being wiped out in some cases. He is regarded as one of the most successful military leaders in history, and his impact on world history is still felt today. Alexander the Great was a Macedonian king who conquered much of the known world in the 4th century BC. He is estimated to have killed or been responsible for the deaths of tens of thousands of people. Alexander's military campaigns were marked by his brilliant tactical mind and his ability to inspire his troops. He is regarded as one of the greatest military leaders in history, and his conquests helped spread Greek culture and ideas throughout the world. Vlad the Impaler, also known as Dracula, was a Wallachian prince who was known for his brutal tactics against enemies, including impalement and torture. He is regarded as one of the most ruthless and feared leaders in history, and his cruelty is said to have inspired the character of Count Dracula in Bram Stoker's famous novel. Attila the Hun was the leader of the Huns, a nomadic tribe that conquered much of Europe and Asia in the 5th century. He is believed to have been responsible for the deaths of hundreds of thousands of people, and his military campaigns were marked by brutality and savagery. Attila is regarded as one of the most feared and deadly leaders in history. Timur the Lane was a Central Asian conqueror who is believed to have caused the deaths of millions of people through his military campaigns. His armies were known for their brutality, and entire populations were often massacred in his wake. Timur's impact on world history is still felt today, and his legacy as a deadly warrior is unquestioned. Miyamoto Musashi was a Japanese swordsman and samurai who is widely regarded as the greatest swordsman in history. He is said to have killed over 60 opponents in duels, and his expertise in sword fighting is still studied and admired today. William the Conqueror was a Norman king who conquered England in 1066. He is estimated to have been responsible for the deaths of tens of thousands of people, and his military campaigns were marked by brutality and ruthlessness. William's impact on English history is still felt today, and he is regarded as one of the deadliest warriors of the medieval period. Hernán Cortés was a Spanish conquistador who led the conquest of the Aztec Empire in the 16th century. He caused the deaths of many Aztec warriors and civilians, and his tactics were marked by cruelty and savagery. Cortés' conquest of the Aztecs changed the course of Mexican and world history, and his legacy as a deadly warrior is still felt today. Shaka Zulu was a Zulu king who was regarded as one of the greatest military leaders in African history. He is estimated to have caused the deaths of tens of thousands of people through his military campaigns and his tactics were marked by ruthlessness and brutality. Shaka's impact on Zulu and South African history is still felt today, and he is regarded as a symbol of Zulu strength and pride. Khalid Ibn al-Walid was an Arab general who fought in the early Islamic conquests in the 7th century. He is regarded as one of the greatest military commanders in history and his victories against the Byzantine and Persian empires helped establish the early Islamic Caliphate. Khalid's military tactics were marked by speed and surprise, and he is regarded as a master of cavalry warfare. King Ashoka the Great is one of the greatest warriors of the Mauryan dynasty. He was the son of King Bindusara. Historians have stated that the great Ashoka was disliked because of his father's illness. However, although Ashoka led the Takshashila rebellion, King Bindusara also relied heavily on King Ashoka. Legends about the emergence of youth, such as the ability to remember past lives, appear in the next century. Ashok remains a famous Indian emperor even today. He ruled the Maurya dynasty from 268 to 232 BC. 
During his reign, Ashoka the Great spread the value of Buddhism and expanded his legacy empire to Afghanistan and Bangladesh. Archaeologists and historians agree that the battle took place in the Dali Hills in Dali. Ashoka fought against the province of Kalinga, which had no ruler, resulting in the deaths of 250,000 people. Ashoka's kind support appeared after the events of the Kalinga War. Another one of Roman's legendary warriors is Julius Caesar. The Roman Senate disagreed with his way of ruling, causing one of the most famous betrayals in history, Julius Caesar's assassination. The grudge between Julius Caesar and the Senate started long before his assassination. Julius, who wasn't even king at the time, denied the court ruling and traveled across the Rubicon River. This action may seem minuscule, but was the result of the Roman Senate's fear of Caesar's growing power. Knowing fully well that his actions would lead to a civil war, Julius Caesar committed insubordination. Julius Caesar was an intelligent military tactician. This allowed him to rise through the ranks as he formed allies. The first one is Crassus, a man with political and military influence said to be the wealthiest man in Rome. The second one was Pompey, a political leader. Pompey's betrayal of Caesar stemmed from his jealousy. Especially since Caesar immortalized his name after the conquest of Gaul. Caesar had defeated the Gallic tribes, one of the strongest warriors that intimidated the Roman Empire. Caesar defeated Pompey in the Great Roman Civil War. Afterward, Caesar defeated Pharaoh Ptolemy XIII in the Battle of the Nile giving Queen Cleopatra her right to the throne. Julius had many more victories in battle. The Senate feared Julius despite his aid in reforming the Roman Empire. Their defense against his death was to protect the Roman Republic's ideals. This backfired for the Senate as it eventually led to the Liberator's civil war and the end of the Roman Empire. Even today Leonidas of Sparta remains one of the greatest warriors in history. Leonidas I was the son of King Anaxandridas II, King of Sparta. He ruled Sparta along with his fellow King Leotychidas. This is because Sparta always had two kings. Sparta itself had a tradition of training young boys into the greatest warriors they can be. Mothers left their young sons to survive fierce battles against each other and wild animals. Survival is based solely on one's physical abilities during these times. Once they graduate from this training, they are fully-fledged hoplites. Leonidas of Sparta was accompanied by 300 hoplites during the Second Persian War. We know this battle as the Battle of Thermopylae or Battle of the 300. The oracle Sparta predicted that either Sparta herself would fall or one of her kings before the battle began. It came true, with Leonidas and his fierce hoplites perishing from the invading army. Leonidas of Sparta remains one of the strongest warriors despite the aggravating loss. His death was symbolic for the Greeks and the bravery of his men proved what their people were willing to sacrifice for their freedom. Their actions immortalized Leonidas, whose bravery was a necessity to prevent the invading Persians. Herodotus, a famous historian of his time, recorded in his series histories that Leonidas was related to the mythical hero Hercules. While his published works did have a few inaccuracies, they are still generally accurate records to this day. Meaning that it could be possible that Leonidas was indeed Hercules' descendant, 